traditional decorative painting on unexpected objects and even on the human body. Petrikivka is one of the recognizable symbols of Ukrainian culture. History of a painter who put an old craft in the modern online context. UATV tried to discover the secret of a master who opens the eyes of the world to the beauty of Petrikivka painting. This photo is called the Blue Marble, and it is one of the most reproducible images in history. The shot was made by American astronauts of the Apollo 17 mission in December of 1972. Thanks to them, people first saw the whole Earth from a distance, many hundreds of years before that. Scientists and interested people could only use globes. They were probably made back in antiquity, but the oldest globe surviving until today is the Earth Apple, by German cartographer of the late 15th century Martin Beheim. It was a very precise globe at that time, with one exception. Back then, Europeans had not yet discovered North and South Americas. But the very idea that they could turn the whole globe in their hands was captivating. Hardened sea wolves read maps in their travels in globes became a luxury item, as they were quite sophisticated. Among the enlightened European nobility, it was common to brag to guests about two skillfully painted spheres depicting the Earth and starry sky. Globes emphasized not only its owner's profound knowledge, but also their artistic taste. The drawings in the early copies were just as important as outlines of the continents. Despite the fact that modern maps are made with delicate accuracy, hundreds of art globes are still offered on creative internet sites. But among them, there is one that is special for those who are familiar with Ukrainian culture. At the moment, I am involved in decorative painting of globes, based on the Petrukivka painting. Petrukivka is beautiful not only in the finished product, but the process itself is magical and must be shown to people. Anna Lvova belongs to the generation of modern masters that is open to the public. It's possible to watch the process of creating a globe based on traditional Ukrainian painting, online, in real time. There are hundreds of thousands of people ready to see this work. I consider the Petrukivka painting to be very tasty. Tasty is really the correct word. Watching how an intermediate stroke is painted is visually very relaxing and has some kind of a therapeutic effect on people. Watch next, where you can usually find the Petrukivka painting and how Anna Lvova put it in a new context. What was the role the revolution of dignity played in it? Finally, how complex is the technique and where can it be applied today? Watch on UATV the story of a master who gave this tradition a new impetus. Petrukivka is a village in the Dnipropetrovsk oblast in eastern Ukraine. Its population is about 5,000. However, the name of this village has become a household for a special, recognizable technique in the decorative painting of walls, dishes and various housewares. Petrukivka has existed since the 18th century and is renowned for folk craft and in 2013 it was listed on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Anna Lvova came from that region, but she was never in a famous village. She first learned about this painting at a design department in an art school. It was probably in the first year that we were taught Petrukivka painting. Our new teacher was Petrukivka painting master born in Petrukivka. And she started the first lesson with words that the best student could go to Canada. Never being abroad, for me it was identical to flying to the moon. Anna remembers that she began to study hard and understood that she liked the painting process. The prize trip to Canada did not happen, and after completing her course, the painter saw no purpose in continuing. She realized her dream of traveling, but finally the events in her native Ukraine drew her into the revolution of dignity. When on the night of November 30, 2013, security forces beat pro-European students on Maidan, many Ukrainians could not stand aside. I was deeply touched that two streets away from me students were bitten and no one was responsible for this. I watched these videos and cried. One of the headquarters of the protest that broke out with the new force was located in the Kyiv administration building. Anna Lvova came here for the first time, but not as a painter. I returned tent from abroad and came to wash the floors. I just wanted to do something, because it was impossible to surf on social networks, to read and do nothing. I saw a table with helmets and some guys who were drawing them. 
I approached them and offered my help. They gave me a helmet as a trial, and I painted it at home. Master of Crafts project has focused on the barricade art of Maidan, and helmet painting was its most popular form, and Alvova, without much thought, began to paint in Petrikivka style. I understood that the revolution was a tough confrontation, and I realized the aesthetic effect if I painted helmet with golden rose and the Ukrainian national emblem. Then I wanted to decorate a helmet as close as possible to a Ukrainian helmet. During the months of confrontation, Anna painted hundreds of helmets, though she cannot recall the exact number. After the Revolution of Dignity won, the master again abandoned Petrukivka for a long time. She did not know where to use her skills in everyday life. The idea of painting globes emerged a few years later from her personal experience. Once she saw two horrifying videos, one with shelling of Donetsk and the other with the bombing of Aleppo in Syria. I'm in my bed. I feel good. I live in Kiev. I feel warm. I understand that I'm going to have breakfast, and there are people who left their homes and live one step away from death. It was just like Maidan. That is, I came to Maidan to feel better and close to action. And here I could do nothing, and this was the worst part of it. That was when I wanted to create my own world. The return to Petrukivka was again natural. Flowers are a symbol of peace in hippie culture and they can cover the entire globe. A painter who could not do anything in an imperfect world decided to depict it brightly through traditional Ukrainian painting. This started a series of globes, which Master has continued to this day. Anna Lvova shares with UATV what knowledge and skills are needed to create such works, in what she moved away from the standard style of Petrukivka and how it is done. How it is done Petrukivka painting, although considered a folk craft, in some cases still borders on art. A skillful master can paint anything or even a wall without a preliminary sketch by improvising with characteristic images. At the same time, the set of graphic means is very limited. As a rule, these are flowers, fruits and birds. The color palette was also formed long ago. After Anna mastered the style of Petrukivka enough, she felt limited and her travels constantly gave her new extraordinary ideas. I returned from Thailand, and I was very surprised by local demons, dragons, such as Naga dragon snakes, that are different from classic Japanese and Chinese dragons. For example, in Petrukivka we paint birds, and I wanted to draw an image of a dragon. After traveling to a warm country, Anna often wants to paint tropical flowers or fruits that are atypical for Ukraine on a new globe. In the end, an idea turns into more or less understandable composition for new work. Anna selects an appropriate globe. The more complex the image of a globe is, the larger globe should be in size. If I have the desire to paint a chrysanthemum, I understand that a small globe is not suitable for this. I like when everything is a la prima and quickly painted. It's a classic globe that is sold in every stationery store. Further, if I want to draw continents, then I outline them. In such cases, Anna draws a standard contour and then sprays it with a black primer. When the paint dries, the painter makes a sketch with a pencil so that the planned elements fit exactly within the lines of the continents. Now she can start painting. But not every brush is suitable for this. For the most part, Petrukivka is painted using either a squirrel or cat wool brush. As for a cat brush, it is the most beloved, because mistresses cherish their traditions, and so do I. They take cat hair from certain places under a cat's paw or from the belly. These places should be combed out well to get the hair. Such a cat wool brush allows you to draw the thinnest lines, and this is a key quality for Petrukivka. The technique called an intermediate stroke allows a painter to apply several colors in one move. You should always have two colors, dark and light. They cannot live without each other. It's very important in Petrukivka. And if I start painting on a dark background, then there should be a transition from light to dark. Anna squeezes yellow and red acrylic paints out on paper and kneads them with a painting knife. The brush is not wet. 
I dip the whole brush into yellow and then I dip its edge into a red paint. While making a stroke, two colors are mixed and I get a third intermediate color that turns out to be orange. The result is a gradient of three colors, two primaries and one intermediate. In Petrokivka, the stroke should be clean on the first try. Any adjustment will be visible and will spoil the work. After a few strokes, a master should completely clean the brush and dip it into the paint again. Sometimes it takes more time than the painting itself, and that makes the work very painstaking. In terms of technology, Anna follows the tradition, but she freely chooses the colors herself. Yep. I tried to paint in pastel colors. I tried to use subdued colors, even colors from classic Petrukivka. But I want to add some pink color. That is, I like acid colors because they are full of positive. It takes four to five days for Anna to paint a large detailed globe, with breaks only for sleep and a bite to eat. But finished work is only half of the work for a painter who wants to become popular on social networks. The master is convinced that good presentation plays a major role here. Even before she starts painting, she needs to choose the right camera angle, set the lighting, and then mount the footage well, if it is not a live broadcast. Videos of various production or creative processes are among the most popular on the Internet, and Anna takes advantage of the natural curiosity of people. Being successful on social networks, she decided to help other Petrukivka masters find their audience and support on the Internet. But she failed to achieve the understanding of her old-school masters. I cannot paint even 10% like they do. I really admire their works, but they do not feel the relevance. They are a little bit stuck in that time so they do not develop their skills to meet the modern format. They continue following the same old way. I do not urge to forget the origins. I'm sure that images from classic Petrukivka masters would look cool even on the globes. It simply takes to make one beautiful stroke and put some endearing music to it, and it will become a viral content. In the meantime, Anna willingly teaches her subscribers from all over the world and experiments looking for new application fields for Petrukivka. One time she tried to supplement the images on paper or on the globe with paints on her arm. This led her to make large body art on a model using the Petrukivka technique. There is a little secret. While painting on the skin, you should add a little shower gel or so. Add a drop in the paint and you can paint with it even on glass. My first body art was made with fluorescent colors in the dark. It was fun, because for some reason I imagined myself like Michelangelo to paint everything quickly, like in two or three hours. As a result, I painted for seven hours and the photo session with setting the light lasted two hours. Там часа два тоже где-то, потому что свет надо было настраивать. Early 2019, a year passed since Anna Lvova has begun promoting her Petrukivka on unusual objects. Globes have already spread almost all over the globe, and today the Ukrainian master paints on cups to the delight of collectors. She always takes paints, brushes and a camera in her travels to the most exotic corners of the world to capture how traditional Ukrainian painting is acquiring new colors, images and impressions.